Welcome back. At the Jakarta Composite Index intraday movement, earlier today, JCI was open at a level of 6,807.28. And in approaching the closing time on the first session, the index was on a level of 6,808.45. And then the index was showing weakening trend by the second session closing time. Index was closed at a level of 6,800.67. And in short, JCI went down 0.35%. Next, we are going to see the sectoral movement. Leading the dynamics of today's trading, we got property as the leader of the strengthening trend that went up 0.68%. Basic went up 0.47%. Transportation and logistic went down 0.77%. And finance went down 0.5%. And moving on to top gainers and top losers. Here are the key highlights from today's trading session. Boomi went up 1.79% to the level of 175 rupiah, seven, I mean 71 rupiah per share. Beda went up 34.15% to the level of 220 rupiah per share. BRPT went up 2.63% to the level of 780 rupiah per share. And Tris went up 22.50% to the level of 294 rupiah per share. Meantime, the top losers for today's trading. We got Adro went down 3.05% to the level of 3,810 rupiah per share. Bank Central Asia went down 0.87% to the level of 8,500 rupiah per share. BBRI went down 1.61% to the level of 4,880 rupiah per share. And BSBK went down 6.73% to the level of 194 rupiah per share. Next, we are going to see the intraday movement of rupiah towards the US dollar. Open at the level of 15,603, rupiah was also showing weakening trend towards the US dollar and was closed at the level of 15,592. And in summary, rupiah went down 0.12%. Mitratel completed an asset purchase transaction in the form of an optical cable network worth 603 billion rupiah. Mitratel's management said that the ownership of the asset will strengthen the ecosystem in the company's business. Daya Mitra Telekomunikasi or Mitratel completed an asset purchase transaction in the form of an optical cable network worth 603 billion rupiah. Mitratel's management explained that the signing of the asset sale and purchase deed document was carried out between Mitratel, Trans Indonesia Super Corridor, and Sumber Cemerlang Kencana Permai. Mitratel's management say that the ownership of this optical cable network asset will strengthen the ecosystem in the company's tower business, which will increase the variety of products and services to customers. Mitratel Director of Investment Hendra Purnama say that most of Mitratel's towers have been connected using a fiber optic network. He explained fiber optic is a solution to increase bandwidth capacity and reduce latency. Previously, Mitratel said that it originally targets the expansion of 1,000 towers and the addition of 2,500 collocations and roll out 9,000 kilometers of fiber optic network this year. Meanwhile, in terms of financial performance, Mitratel's revenue this year is expected to increase by around 12%, with EBITDA expected to increase by around 15%. IDX Channel reports.